What's up guys? Working on getting a little uh, electric high banker going. Or as uh, Prospector Chris would say, the planking snail. It's my cheap version of it. <sighs> figure out how to tie that down a little bit but I got the other end okay realize that now I should have left some riffles at the top kind of like I did down there for support should have left them right there and then I could have just zip tied it it's already expecting to be in the creek this morning but messing around with this messing around with this trying to get it just right now I gotta figure out some legs I got my battery on the charger and we're gonna go play later all right, we're out on a little sandy. Got my Prospector Chris influenced what do you call it, snail going here. He calls it a planking snail, so I can't steal his idea completely. Got my two kids out here helping. I'll tell you what, it's nice to have help bring all this crap down. Just set it up. First bucket. Got a brick in there to slow the flow, which I can tell now is going to be a problem because I see a lot of build up in there. Go ahead, Liam, stick one in there. Go easy, just like I showed you. Not too bad. I was going to cut mine all the way down, and uh, my grandfather in law, he's like, Well, I'll just leave that little section there. It'll give it some more stability, which I'm glad I did because this one's a lot flimsier than uh, the Believe Prospector Chris has. I just use a piece of galvanized steel he had laying in there, kind of the whole same plank idea. And I was trying to get fancy, I was trying to bolt it on there, and nothing was working. I was like, you know what, where's the zip ties? I want to go gold panning. <laughs> I just got the little cheapy Walmart $20 pump. Yeah, go ahead, Liam. It's 500 gallons per minute, but with a three-foot hose, it's supposed to drop down to 400. Well, I got a four-foot hose. working by golly and I did pretty much the same just grabbed me a cheapy Walmart battery just a little uh, 275 cranking amp 12 volt lawnmower tractor battery I think it was 25 bucks plus a nine dollar core so I'm gonna have to find a battery laying around just classifying it down to oh forgive me I forget what size that is I think an eighth First hole, got our sweet tea, got our pans. We'll run some more material and we'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, we're back. Not too much time went by. Kids are still just kind of screwing around. I went ahead and uh, got another little over half a bucket there. Forgot how out of shape I was. So the pump's still going strong. Yeah. Cody's painting in or putting in some material there. Not quite sure what Liam is doing. Yeah. Mm.
Yep, it's called tailings. It's all the lighter stuff. They quit uh, putting material in there probably for about three minutes right before I fired this up. I walked over there and there's a lot of dark material in the bottom and a little bit of light. So I'm not too worried about washing gold out. Well, I don't know how damn heavy it is. It's nuts. It surprises me every time. After watching Prospector Chris, we've got good high hopes for this easy cheap setup. Like I said the pump was like 25, battery was 25. The actual downspot, I think it was like eight and change. There's little scoops. Oh, that was a good one. But it's just about gone. A lot of colorful gravel, a lot of quartz and stuff I'm pulling out. I'm just about filling the hole. Yeah, I guess you can't really see it, but a lot of whites and pinks and a lot of gravel in that hole. Oh, 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 we got that one on camera. <laughs> Tell the creeks up from the last time I was down here, big time. The little uh, spot with the log I was gonna hit. And here somewhere. I see some brick down there, but I don't see the log no more. <laughs> I could get down there and do some panning. Or some digging. Be careful, you guys get it. Alright. Oh, fun then. Alright, I'm gonna swap out buckets and uh, keep rolling. I'm gonna clean this out till we're done. And then uh, we'll see you there. Might have to get a gold room set up or something. <laughs> Later, guys. Alright, so we ran about a bucket and a half through the uh, new snail I got a lot of glare I can't really see but I think you can see those three specks there not too bad ID off of pay streak TV I have to thank prospector Chris for sure I'm gonna take a break go grab something to eat and we are coming back later all right we're back Kind of hit everything up in the weeds just a little bit. I did that quick pan down, but I left because it's so much black sand and uh, these guys wanted to eat. So I went ahead and left my cons in the pan, panned it down once more, a little bit slower. Two more specks. Still out of that bucket and a half. So I'm going to work that hole a little more over there. So we gotta get set up here. We'll get that all set up, get the pump back in the ground, and we'll catch up to you later. All right. Uh, trying to get a good picture here. I counted 12. And that is all from down over the hill. Today I ran a total of three buckets, five gallon buckets, through the new Franken snail. I believe that's what I'll call it. Twelve specs. Wow, is it windy. Again, thanks Pay Street TV for the idea. Love it.